Hi there, Adrian back here again. <coughs> we have another unboxing here. Um, this is one of the watches I got for Christmas. Um, I'd looked at this early on in the year and well I've looked at the pictures there was a couple of videos I could find on it me being a Seiko type of fanboy um, I've always had Seikos I sort of collect them um, I'd, I'd seen this coming out and with it being a lot of money I thought should I should I not and I had to really I had to think long and hard before I purchased this um, but it, it is what it is um, we'll, we'll let you be the judge of that so uh, I'll, I'll not hold you back we'll get straight into this unboxing trusty unboxing knife there um, like I say I'd looked long and hard at this and it was should I should I not um, it is a bit of a pricey item but you see the pictures for it and it, it does look stunning but I tell you now once you actually get it on the wrist I don't know why I didn't just rip this in the first place <laughs> um, once, once you get it on the wrist it looks nice and what we have there Is the box for it. Now what, what you pay for the watch and what you get the box in, I'm a bit disappointed with the box. <laughs> I thought they would have put it in a nicer box but I suppose you're paying for the watch not the packaging but if you bought an Amiga 300 mil dive watch they're three grand you get a lovely wooden box presentation box with them um, and yeah for for what I paid for this you should have got something like that I think I think see it goes skimped out on an ice box but that, that's my just in my opinion um, get the packaging off and what we have here I'll just keep that cool that up a sec that in focus for you What we have here is the Seiko Prospex SLA 019J1 Limited Edition Forest Green Dive Watch. <laughs> I've actually got that the wrong way. And I'll, I'll tell you what. No, I think that does. Not at me heart. I need to get a see that dial. What you get there is a lovely, lovely forest green. It is a bit of a big watch. I doubt it will be everybody's cup of tea but 
I, I cannot fault it. Um, the watch come. I was allowed one try on of it, and I got put away for Christmas. So yeah, I've been angering to get this one out and onto the wrist. Trust me. Um, so like I say, it's a Seiko Prospect limited edition forest green. They only released 1968 of this model. Um, so not that too many. And obviously there's a lot of people complaining about because it's basically the Marine Master replacement. But they took the Marine Master off the dial and just put the X, the Pro Specs X there. Now to me, I don't mind that. It's not making the dial as cluttered or as busy. I don't think. Um, but that's just my opinion. Some people complain about it, some people haven't. I'm in the haven't department. What, it, what it's running is a in-house automatic 8L35 movement with a 50 hour power reserve on it. So, I mean 50 hours, that's a, that's a good power reserve in-house. And I think if I'm correct in thinking the 8L35 movement they're using some of the higher end models like the Grand Seekers. So it is, you know, you're getting a classy movement. To, um, the, the case size on it, it is a, a big watch. The case is 44.3 millimeters with a thickness of 15.4 millimeters. Um, so quite a large large watch um, the the case back on it is stainless steel the, they haven't went for like a, a crystal at the back so you can see the workings I'm led to believe when they assemble this watch everything goes in through the front dial that's how they haven't got a, like a clear see through one the look to look on the the look size on a bracelet wise is 20 millimeters um, I forgot to measure look to look so I'll, I'll have to do that later like I say this is just a quick unboxing um, it's got the stainless steel strap obviously with a diver's extension on it now not that I need it um, I, I'll not be going diving with it but I, I probably you know could end up swimming with it but I'll, ne I'll never wear it to have a dive suit, so that's not a not a really concern for me. And what you see there is, like I say, a green dial, beautiful green. You can't really tell there, but it does shimmer in the light. And finally we have a ceramic bezel with a sapphire crystal. So you, I suppose you're paying a lot more for the sapphire crystal and the ceramic but yeah people keep asking for sapphires crystals they're expensive for as far I'm led to believe so I suppose you're only getting what you're paid for um, it's like I see I'm just start, I'm still here doing this video and I'm looking at it and all I want to do is get it on my wrist <laughs> which I will be in a minute uh, all said and done <coughs> excuse me I mean this watch is stunning in my opinion yes the, I mean the photos look good online but once you have this watch in the hand wow just wow I mean the pictures don't do it just as at all it's just a stunning watch Yes, it's a big and heavy watch. It won't be for everybody out there, I suppose. Um, I have a big wrist. I've got an eight-inch wrist, so it sits just right on me. Uh, 
It doesn't look overly out of place, like I say, with me having a big wrist. Um, so, there you go. It, it sits just right on my wrist, the ones I've added on. And the finish on it, the polishing, oh my god. That's out of this world. It's, it's just stunning. I've never actually had a Grand Seeker in my hand or tried on the wrist. I would love to compare a Grand Seeker against this. Because, I mean, I'm well impressed with this. So if a Grand Seeker is improving on this, can only be about that in my opinion. Um, let's see, I mean, the, the fit, the feel, the weight of it, it, it's just right for my wrist. It, you know, it might, it might look out of place on some people with smaller wrists, but if you're willing to put up with that for the for the quality and the beauty of this watch, I think it'd be worth it, in my opinion. Um, yes, it's a lot of money. This was just shy of three grand. £2,900 um, it's a lot of watch for a lot of money will I be scared to take it out at first yes I'll be scared in case I scratch it but you buy these things to wear I paid a lot of money for it and in 20 years time it's probably be scruffed to hell but, you equate that cost, if I get 20 years use out of it, I'll be more than happy. Um, yeah, it's a lot of money. But, I'm pleased I got it. And the thing being, it put a great big smile on my face. And that's all that matters I've got the watch I'm happy yes yeah, some people might say oh that's too much money it's only a saver I'm not bothered the smiles on my face not theirs so like I say I'm pleased I pulled the pin on this once I get a bit wrist time with it and I've worked for a couple of months six to eight weeks I'll, I'll I'll try and get another review up to tell you how I'm feeling about it whether my thoughts are the same and what it's like to wear so for now that's it I've probably waffled on way too much but I'll leave you with the final look at the Seiko Forest Green SLA019J1 Thanks for watching, if you like, give us a thumbs up and maybe subscribe if you like my videos. I'm not the best at these but I'm trying. So anyway, thanks for watching, bye bye.